What is up you guys? I'm back here on Borderlands 2 and I want to show you one of my build videos again. This one is going to be a siren build and this isn't my healing siren at all. This is actually my SMG siren. It's a sandhawk build. It's a beehawk build if you will. And I know a lot of people were like, man I know this already. I've seen this a million times. But I, f I just wanted to post this just because I felt like it just in case anybody doesn't know about it I just want to help them out and just show them like the full potential of this build and the full potential of the Sandhawks and their SMG damage and the tree the trees we're gonna go down is the Cataclysm and Emotion skill tree and we're gonna go a little bit in the Harmony skill tree and uh, we're gonna start off in the Cataclysm of course you have to pick phase lock uh, first thing we gotta do is max out the first tier because flicker will give you more um, well, you're more likely to cause elemental effects with guns and since we're going to be using the different elements of the sandhogs this will come in pretty handy foresight just because of the extra magazine size and the reload speed it's not too shabby it's a good thing to have especially when you're in combat and you need that reload speed there you go foresight's got you covered uh, the next this part of the build to get to Reaper kind of weird because I, I guess you can pick whatever you want because I I was forced to pick something to get to Reaper because I didn't I didn't like any of these skills because they weren't like as powerful as I thought it would be but if you really want you can pick up chain reaction and maybe another skill but I just pick Helios and Backdraft because Helios, I'm always going to be phase locking, and there's always going to be damage, and there's always going to be ruin and converge and all that good stuff. So that's why I pick Helios, and I pick backdra Backdraft for the Nova damage, uh, just to get to Reaper. Then I went with Cloud Q just for some extra um, corrosive damage, just because it's free damage. I like skills that just say, oh, hey, here's some free damage just for shooting an enemy. And I'm like, yeah, man, I like that shit. Um, so that's why I just picked Cloud Kill. Reaper, one of the best skills that the Siren has. If you don't have the class mod that I have that boosts um, boost Reaper by like 5, or if you have another one that has like 6, or you don't have the cat that just does plus 5, Reaper is pretty good. 80% gun damage if you got it all maxed out, and 40% if you just don't have anything on it like a class mod. This is pretty good, especially since I am killing Pyro Pete, the Invincible. And I'm going to need Reaper because he has his shields all the way up the whole entire time. Um, and I'll show you how I kill him at the end of this vi uh, build video. So yeah, that's what Reaper does. And I skip Black Venus because I hate kill skills, as you may have noticed from my other build. Uh, Ruin. I picked Ruin because that's like the best skill that the Siren has. Slag, Electrocutes, and Crows all nearby enemies. Because of Pickett, we're gonna do that with Converge. And I'm sure you guys all know about Ruin and Converge together. It's like boyfriend and girlfriend. Just like Slags. Everybody in that center of mass, all you have to do is like North Fleet them or just, just like spread bullets into that center of mass just to kill them all. And that's it for the Cataclysm Tree. And we're gonna do now the Motion Tree. And the first thing we're going to put is, put our points into is Accelerate for some extra gun damage and more bullet speed. And since I'm using stopping Sandhawks instead of flying ones, stopping ones are a lot slower with their fire projectile rate. So I just, um, since, since Accelerate was boosting bullet speed, I was like, hey, I got stopping Sandhawks. More bullet speed, uh, pretty effective. Flying Sandhawks, it's even more effective, but i rather the power of the stopping ones than the bullet speed. Uh, ward, you can go with Ward or you cannot go with Ward. It doesn't matter. I just put it just because of the B-Shield for the extra recharge delay. Or the extra, the minus recharge delay, actually. That's why I picked Ward. But you don't have to pick it if you don't want to. Uh, suspension, just for extra duration of phase lock. Fleet. Pick that for the Breakneck Banshee Rough Rider combo. If you don't know what that is, you just you slap on a Rough Rider, you equip that, and you slap on a Breakneck Banshee with Fleet. It could be 6 plus 5, 
whatever, and you run insanely fast. Uh, Converge, as I already said, with Ruin, it's just like, like bread and butter. Uh, Quicken for more, for a cooldown rate of Phase Lock. Pretty useful too. Subsequence acts pretty dumb. I don't pick that at all. It flies in the air. It bounces on walls. It just makes Phase Lock like redundant with this. Thought Lock, I hate that too. It's not gonna work for me. Um, that's it for the the Motion Tree, and we're gonna go to the Harmony Tree, just so we can get these two boosted up. Because these two are also critical in the build. Monazai gives us more critical hit damage and more melee damage. The melee damage, I don't care about it. But the critical hit damage is pretty nice. Then we're going to go into Wrecked since it gives us a double fire rate on whatever gun you're using. And more damage. So that's pretty useful, especially with the Sandhawk. 100% fire rate. Is that like 5.2? Yeah, that's 5.2, but it, it's pretty good and... Um, extra damage, that's even better. Um, this build is mostly solo, but sometimes I just go into multiplayer, find myself in there, and then somebody's dying, and sometimes people just kick you like, hey man, you can't, you can't even raise, what kind of siren are you? So I just pick this just, just in case somebody went down, I just res them up. Um, after that, you'll probably have like three, or if you didn't put anything in ward, you'll probably have eight, and... Feel free to spend them in whatever you want. Because, uh, it's pretty much all the damage you can do. Unless you want recompense, which, um, whatever you take health damage, there's a chance that the health damage you took will go to your attacker. Just for some more damage. But that's pretty much basically the build, and I'm gonna put the overview of you. Alright, now I'm going to show you the weapon loadout for this, and as you already know, I told you this was a Sandhog build, so we're going to be using Sandhogs. I got the stopping ones, probably the most powerful Sandhogs, and I got the fire, the corrosive, the regular, and the shielded one. I mean, not the shielded one, my bad. The electric one. All of these. And then the North Fleet just to get me up. B-Shield, pretty, pretty sure everybody knows what that thing does. More amp damage means more SMG damage means more Sandhawk happy time uh, homing storm front now my character does not have any health regeneration skills at all except for like sweet release since I phase lock anything and just kill it I get that um, life orb but if you're you're gonna use a grog nozzle with this um, just pull it out in your inventory just equip it and then whenever you throw out a storm front, switch to the grog nozzle and your health will be regenerated. Um, Heart of the Ancients, probably like just the most awesomest relic for this build. More SMG damage, fight for your lifetime and second wind health. The SMG damage is what I'm really looking for, but the other things I don't really care about, but they're pretty good. Uh, pretty great E-Tech relic for this. Aggression with tenacity, it's combined to make the Heart of the Ancients. Uh, next thing, Legendary Cat Class mod, more SMG damage, less SMG accuracy. Oh well, who cares? If you get all this SMG damage, who cares about the dang accuracy? As long as you hit some, you kill it. And all these gun damage boosting skills. And, um, uh, the other weapon, you can use a Florentine too. That's another SMG that you can use with this. And, uh, I'm gonna do the same thing I did with my Mechromancer. I trapped Pyropede up there. Just so I can show you guys how effective this build is and how much damage you can just output with this build. And yeah, Power P keeps like nailing me with them dang Nova Shields. I mean, them dang Nova Blasts. But I'm gonna kill him. I'll be sure of it. Yeah, you can use this. I usually use these for like farming. Just like if anybody wants a weapon, I can just go get it for them because I got the Breakneck Banshee. At the legendary cat with the bee, all that. I call this like the ultimate farming tool build. Like it, it's, it's pretty awesome. I, I love this thing. And yeah, hope you guys found this um, build helpful. Hope you found the video helpful. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe.
thanks for watching. And hopefully I'll be Power Pete. Hopefully I'll get a legendary. Who knows? Just stay tuned. And I'll see you guys later in the next video.